In this lesson, we're going to be writing equations of lines in slope-intercept form. The success criteria is, I can find the slope and y-intercept of a line. I can use the slope and y-intercept of a line to write an equation of the line. And I can write equations in slope-intercept form to solve real-life problems. For this example, we are going to write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through the given points. So the first thing I'm going to write down over here is the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. The general equation is going to be y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line, and then b is the y-intercept. So looking at the graph, it's actually pretty simple uh, because we can easily identify the slope and the y-intercept just by looking at the graph. Okay, so first I'm going to find the y-intercept. Okay, remember the y-intercept is the value of y when x equals zero. Another way to think of it is the y-intercept is the point on the line where the line crosses the y-axis right here. So I can see that this point right here on this line is the y-intercept, okay, and the y-value there is five. So know that this b, which is the y-intercept value, is equal to five. So I'm going to write that down here. b equals five. Okay, and then now I just have to find the slope. Well, on a graph, the easiest way to find slope is using rise over run. So if I start at this point right here and then go to this point, I have to go down three units, one, two, three, and then right two units, one, two. So that means my slope, m, or change in y over change in x, is equal to negative three, because I went down three, and then positive two, because I went right two. Okay? And it makes sense, because this is a negative slope, and this line is going down from left to right. Anyway, so this is my m value. Now all I need to do is plug this in to my equation. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to rewrite y equals mx plus b. I have my slope m, which is negative 3 over 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as y equals negative 3 over 2x. And then our slope is positive 5, so I'm going to write plus 5. And now we're done with part a. I'm going to scroll back up here for part B. For part B, I'm given a table of values here that all of these points are on the same line. Okay, uh, So I'm going to do the same thing. I want to identify my slope and my y-intercept. So here I have y equals mx plus b. Okay? m is the slope, obviously, and b is the y-intercept. We just spoke about that. So what I want to do is find the y-intercept from the table. Well, I can tell where the y-intercept is, because if you remember, the y-intercept is the value of y when x equals 0. Well, let's find when x equals 0. I see that x equals 0 right here, and the corresponding y-value is negative 3. So I know that b equals negative 3. Okay? Now I need to find the slope. Well, slope is change in y over change in x. And that's the same thing as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, So now I just have to pick two xy pairs on this table and plug them into this formula. It does not matter which pairs we pick. I'm just going to pick the ordered pair 3, 2, and then we'll do 0, negative 3. Okay? But once again, you could have picked any of these xy pairs and they would work. Okay? So now I'm going to plug this in. I'll call this one point number 1, and this one point number 2. So my y2 is negative 3, my y1 is 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as m, which is the same thing as change in y over change in x, equals negative 3 minus 2 over 0 minus 3. Okay, And then this is going to simplify to, well, negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 over negative 3, because 0 minus 3 is negative 3, and then the negatives cancel. So I get 5 thirds as my slope. So know that m equals positive 5 thirds. So the last thing I need to do is just plug in my m and my b into the y equals mx plus b equation. So that's going to be y equals 5 thirds x minus 3 because this is a negative 3. If it was a positive 3, it'd be plus 3, but since it's negative, it's minus 3. Anyway, now we're done with this one. For this example, we need to figure out the equation of this line right here. Well, I'm just going to find the slope and the y-intercept and figure it out. So if you remember, we have y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to try to find the slope. It doesn't matter which one you find first, slope or y-intercept. 
but I see that this is a horizontal line, okay? So there is no rise, but there is a run. So my rise from this point to this point is zero, and my run is three. So my slope, m, is gonna be zero over three, which is just equal to zero. Now you could just tell that the slope is going to be zero here because the slope of every horizontal line is zero, okay? But anyway, that's how to calculate it from using rise over run, okay? Now I wanna find my y-intercept. So my y-intercept is the value of y when x equals zero. Well, I see right here, this line crosses the y-axis at the y value of negative four. Okay, so zero, negative four is the y-intercept, so that means that my y value of the y-intercept is negative four. So that means b equals negative four. Okay, so now I just have to plug these in to my equation. So y is gonna equal zero x plus negative four, but when I plug that in, it's gonna look like this y equals zero x. Well, plus a negative is the same thing as minus. So this is minus four, okay? And then I can simplify this. Zero times x, well, this term's gonna drop out because anything times zero is zero, okay? And then the whole term's gonna drop out and I just have y is equal to negative four. So I see that my equation is y equals negative four and I'm gonna pick choice A because that is our equation and now we're done with this one. For this example, we have Engineers are digging a 3,500 foot long tunnel at a constant rate. After four months, the engineers still need to dig 1,500 feet to finish the project. How much time does it take to complete the tunnel from start to finish? So the question is asking, how much time does it take to complete the tunnel from start to finish? Okay, well, we gotta figure out what we're dealing with here. So we know at the beginning of building, we haven't dug any of the tunnel yet, okay? So there's still 3,500 feet to go Okay, so that is after zero months. So at zero months, we have 3,500 feet to go. Okay, and then we know after four months, they still need to dig 1,500 feet. So four months, we have 1,500 feet to go. Okay, and if you think of this, if we treat our x as months and then our y as feet to go, how much feet to go, we can actually treat this like a linear equation. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite these as ordered pairs, zero comma 3,500, and then four comma 1,500, okay? And then I can actually find the slope here, okay? So my slope's just gonna be my change in y over my change in x, which is the same thing as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? I'll call this one point number one and point number two. Okay, so I'm gonna do 1,500 minus 3,500. Over four minus zero. Okay, and then this is gonna to simplify to negative 2,000 over four. And we can leave the zeros and then 20 divided by four is five. So this is gonna become negative 500. So my slope of our line is gonna be negative 500. And then if you notice here, this ordered pair is acting as my y-intercept, okay? The value of y when x equals zero. When x is zero, y is 3,500. So I have my slope m, and then my, my b value is gonna equal 3,500. So now I have what I need to write a linear equation in slope-intercept form. So I'm gonna zoom out a bit. And remember, y equals mx plus b, my slope, is negative 500, so I'll plug that in for m. And then my y-intercept is 3,500. So here's my equation. And remember, we called x the amount of months, and we called y the amount of feet that still needs to be dug. So what we wanna figure out is we wanna answer this question. So I'll zoom back in on the question. It says, how much time does it take to complete the tunnel from start to finish? Well, another way they're asking that is, how much time does it take until we have zero feet left to dig? Well, y is the amount of feet that we need to dig. So if we just plug zero in for y and then solve for x, then we'll be able to figure out how much time it takes. So I'm gonna plug in zero feet for y, and that equals negative 500x plus 3,500, okay? And now I just have to solve this equation for x. So I'm gonna subtract 3,500 on both sides and I get negative 3,500 equals negative 500x. Last step is to divide both sides by negative 500. The zeros cancel and negative 35 divided by negative five, the negatives cancel, and then 35 divided by five is seven. 
So x equals seven. And if you remember, x is the amount of months. So my word answer is going to be, it will take seven months to finish digging the tunnel. And now we're done.